Okay, if you've been around Windows for a while, you may remember Power Toys. They even had it for Windows 95 and XP. That's a collection of utilities and little useful things uh, that would help you with your daily work. Well, guess what? There's a new version out for Windows 10. Now, the release of the new uh, Power Toys was uh, announced on an Insider site. And there you'll find a link. And I'll put this link in the description of this video. But you can just go here and click on uh, this to download it. Now that'll take you to GitHub. Now in case you're not familiar with GitHub, it's a repository for uh, projects, specifically open source projects where uh, people can contribute to it. So here's where release one is at. Just click on the installer here. Now in this particular case, I'm using the new edge and it, uh, I'm gonna put it in my downloads directory and it'll come up down here in the lower left hand corner uh, showing it downloading and installing. And eventually it'll show it to where I can just run it. Now, in my case, it takes a second or so to download. Then Defender, like it does for all files, it has to check it for any viruses. And it launches the wizard to go ahead and uh, run it and set up uh, power tools. And here's the agreement uh, you have to usually check. And I read it thoroughly and where it's going to be installed at. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And it'll just take a few seconds here. It's not that big of an application. And once it installs, we'll just take a look. So uh, I'll just click on finish and it, you won't see anything here necessarily, but it's down in my taskbar. I have a new item in my taskbar. Now, don't worry, there's an option to run it as startup uh, or not. But for now, I'll just click on that. And here's the available power toys. We have two, uh, Fancy Zones and Shortcut Guide. So let's take a look. Now, Fancy Zones is pretty neat in that it allows you to create window layouts on your desktop that you can snap uh, different applications to. Now, the first option is to launch the editor using the Win and the Umlaut key, but we're not going to ignore that. Here's the one we want to look at. We want to hold the Shift key during dragging uh, in order to uh, drag a window into an editing zone. Now, I've already created three, but here I went into the editor. It has uh, those, and you can create custom ones. So uh, you can do that. Now I'm going ahead and creating three custom windows here. And as you can see, uh, I can move them around. I can drag them wherever I want, position them. And these will be the snapping zones that you have uh, for your applications. So move them around, resize them. They don't have to be the same size. You can resize them as well till you get to where you want. And then you can just say save. And those will be your current zones. And you can have multiple sets, by the way. So remember now, I left this switch on that allows me to hold the Windows key down for a certain amount of time. So if I go ahead and uh, close this down and open up an application, and I hold the Windows key down while dragging this application, there's my zones. And I can drop this in any zone. So if I just let go, uh, there it is. It snaps to that position. Let's try Notepad. Do the same thing. Oh, I want Notepad over there. So let's try another one. Let's go to the store and bring it up. There's the store and I hold the Windows key down and there it is. I let go. It snaps to the third zone that I have defined. So now you've seen it in action. Let's go back again and take another look at the editor for a second. And you'll notice that, uh, let me go back to the application. And there's an edit zones right here. And they automatically appear, what you're using right now. But if I click on the edit zones uh, button here, I can change these. And you notice I have different ones and I can create names for them. So if I want another one, I do that. Uh, I can use a standard template, three columns or whatever. So now that I switch to, you'll see the three columns are there. And I say apply. So now that they're hidden away, but they're there. So let's uh, take a look using the same applications like Windows and drag. There it is. Then Windows key. Well, let me bring up uh, another application settings, Windows key and drag. And there's a window over there. And lastly, let's do the store again and drag it over there and boom, snap to these custom windows that you defined. Now, what I just demonstrated is the overarching use of zones. There are a lot more configurations that you can do uh, with zones. A lot of things, you scroll down here and you'll see all these different options to keep the windows in their zones, uh, multiple windows, move them. So take a look at this list and check one, each one of the options out. Uh, one of the things I found uh, useful is this color uh, because I have a blue background. So I want to change my zone highlighting to a different color. So now when I drag, oh, it's not there because you have to go in here at the top and say save. 
And now I go back uh, here and you notice that it's more visible on my blue background. As you get older like me and you start to forget things, uh, one of the things I forget is what Windows shortcut key does what? Well, guess what? One of the power tools here helps. Pressing the Windows key and holding it will bring up this overlay. And it'll, there's an overlay for controlling the window. It reminds you how to move windows around. Now, this one you can actually invoke from here. Uh, even if I use the keyboard, uh, that won't actually move. But there's a ton of other ones. While you're already holding the Windows key down to look at this, you can just press on different functions. For example, if I press the uh, Minimize All Windows, you'll notice that behind the scenes, they all went away. So if I press the Windows key down again, I get the list and I can look here at uh, which one is which. I press the Windows I key and there's the Windows Settings app that comes up. And I uh, do another one, Windows, and I press the Windows S key and it'll open up Search and press that. And there's a search that comes up. And like anything else in life, once you use this a lot and you start uh, using these, you'll remember more and more uh, what they are without having to actually uh, use this help guide. Well, maybe. Maybe as you get older like me, you'll be using it more and more because you'll forget more stuff. Uh, but there you have it. Uh, there's the win new Windows Power Tools for 2019. There's only two of them right now. Now, because this comes from GitHub and it doesn't come from the Windows Store, you're going to have to check for any new uh, apps. Uh, there's a Check for Updates button down here. You click on that and it'll go out there and check if there's a new one available. So there you have it, the first release of Power Toys for Windows, uh, the 2019 version. I hope you enjoy it. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.